Prisons, the place you get locked up if you have been a bad, bad boy. Well, in today's video, I'm building a prison as suggested by Crazy Courtney. I'm talking jail cells, courtrooms, interrogation rooms, the whole shebang. And I'm, of course, dressed to impress. The title is going to be, I'm going to jail. Yes, not really. I'm chief of the damn police. So, some of you may have noticed I've actually built the rough infrastructure. And once again, guys, all made out of basic shapes, I know. So impressive. The colour scheme is obviously going to be blue, blue and blacks. It's just finding the right shades. Honestly, I think we're only going to have a few walls as a brick and the rest we're going to leave as smooth plastic. And I know what you guys are thinking, you're crazy racist. All in all, I would say that is a pretty good colour scheme. However, without windows, this is worthless. You worthless piece of trash. You're finished. You're washed up. You're all nothing. So we're going to use modern windows today. And if you want to know the exact size of one block, you just resize it by $44. And then as you can see, they exactly line up along the wall, which is nice. When it comes down to side bits like this, it gets a little bit weird with the sizing. So you may actually have to squish it down a little bit. And I do apologize if you can hear my cat growling in the background at me. You've had breakfast, okay? And that's actually a fun question. Comment down below. Are you guys a cat or a dog person? I'd say... Although they're quite rude. I'm a cat person. When I tell you windows bring a build into fruition. Also, not this build being so big, I actually have to go into fly mode to look at it in full. Now is for the door. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My recording just decided to cut me off. As I was saying, doors are next. And I don't know whether to add this commercial door. It's oh, nice. It's different. It's different. It's unusual. It's it's but what I was thinking of doing is maybe having two sets of double doors. And do you see what I mean? If we have it like that, it looks a little bit more put together, I think. It's time we find ourselves a police logo. And you know what, guys? We are with the Australian Federal Police today. And oh my, that looks beautiful. It really does. First thing we're having is a pathway. So really, there's going to be basically nothing out here. We can actually steamroll through this exterior. In the middle, we are going to have some fancy grass. And then I actually need to like do a little bit of pre-planning here. I think this should be where you get sent into the prison. So this room is basically going to be where if you get picked up in a police car, then you're going to be taken into this room and get your fingerprints taken or your clothes taken off. <laughs> so I suppose we just have some sort of little pathway chickening off here. And the rest can merely be a car park. Car parks is to add a lot of greenery and separation because it goes without saying that they're not very exciting things. To add in greenery, yeah, it's a pretty smart move I came up with. Also, I'm unsure why I'm making this so luxurious. Like, this looks like it could be a mansion's entryway. Who knows? Maybe it is. These car parking spaces are actually going to be, unfortunately, a little bit smaller than normal. Normally, I'd make them three along, but then if we do that on both sides, it just connects. You could park, like, those granny mobility scooters in here. And you're like, if you said you haven't tried one of them in your life. Although I'm not recommending you go and steal one, guys. But I don't advise that. <laughs> And as I did, I don't know what video it was in, maybe my Walmart one. We're going to add a little bit of like a, an X going on over here. I've just had a delicious idea. Do you think, you know some car parking spaces have like the disabled bit over it for disabled parking spaces. I was thinking if we get a transparent cube and then we grab this decal from earlier. Oh my goodness, no way. So you can't see it in full, but this is actually a disabled logo. I'm actually a genius. I'm sorry, put me on my mastermind. I'm literally just going to put these willy nilly all over the place. Anyways, we kind of need to like finish this grass. And do you know what? Over here, let's add a lake. <laughs> this is literally just turning into a tropical resort. Oh no, we can't add a lake at the end. Do you think anyone will know the difference? <laughs> Criminal offensive side eye. So for my trees, I don't know why I love wasting money, but I like using the blossom trees as blossom bushes. When you resize these stupid little plants, they become 3,000. Do I look like I'm made of money? I'm gonna go broke. You only live once, guys. I guess this actually looks so fake. I feel like I'm in the adventure time world. Do you guys know what I mean? And then at this late stage, all that's left to do is color them. And I feel like this is such a police car looking vehicle. Did anybody else used to go around Bloxburg with like a police siren radio sound and, and try to arrest people? But I reckon I still have it on here. I do! Sneak preview to later, guys. And with some large stepping stones to finish this off, we can now move inside or technically upside because we have a helipad people i don't know what this is for i don't know how it's going to be used 
Bloxburg doesn't even have helicopters. I just wanted to add one as a little trinket up here. There we go. Now it's time to go inside and decide the layout. So we've obviously got this room sorted out. This here, I think, should just be like a corridor, rather big one. And here's going to be our interrogation room. It's got to be small, you know, so they can't think of any escape routes while they're in there. This is going to be reception, and this whole part here is going to be court. We need a humongous courtroom to settle this murder case. Here is going to be basically where all of the judges, the jury, decide what goes on. But I'll explain all that as we go on. The stairs probably make sense to go as like the prisoner walks in. Now we have upstairs. I think this should be the visiting room. You know where you have the glass screen and the telephone. You're like, Dad, please come please home. Come and then over here is just going to be all jail cells. Apart from this room here, which is going to be solitary confinement. But let's get started. I actually want to start with the court because I feel like that's such an interesting thing to do. <laughs> So one thing about courts is they are never modern. Linen is actually quite a popular color scheme because it's all wood. I think back here should be really where it's all kicking off. This should be where the judges, the jury is and the defense is. So we're going to use good old fashioned basic cubes. And this is basically going to be the podium. So let me create that for the defense and the jury. And here we have the basis for it all. What we have here is we have the jury. The jury is made up of 12 members of the public and they'll basically decide if the criminal is innocent or guilty. And then of course, here's the judge. And then the rest of court's a bit casual there'll be two like tables and on this side will be the defense and on this side will be the prosecution basically this side's trying to get the criminal put in jail and that's why i thought a courtroom was so needed in here because we're in a jail right now and have any of you guys watched legally blonde it's an amazing film about this girl who's a lawyer and the point is when you're a lawyer you do a lot of like strutting around the courtroom <laughs> like trying to argue your case oh, i almost forgot to add a judge's hammer and i'm gonna add an actual hammer. <laughs> Careful not to break the podium, judge. And the decoration in places like this is so simple because all they need is like their files. And then behind, I think we should just have some American flags. And we cannot forget to actually put some modern reveal doors, I reckon, going into the jury room. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This is where they're going to go to deliberate. Deliberate is basically a fancy word for decide. And then over this side is where we're going to put the wooden courtroom bench. And then at the back, we're actually going to have a scribe. Now, they don't normally have these anymore. But the reason these don't exist anymore because normally the court will just be required. Recording. And then just for that final bit of lighting, we can defo add some windows along the side. So this here is literally just going to be a dining room with a bunch of these fancy chairs. And this is where the jury is going to sit. And like I said earlier, this is where the jury is going to deliberate. In other words, make their decision on whether or not to prosecute it. And we give it that final flourish with a very fancy chandelier. You know, it's very, very fancy in here. We do have a reception, but we really don't need to spend long on this at all. There's nice doors on this side because this is obviously the courtroom. But now we're getting into more prison territory. We're going to have to start using the maximum security doors. Dangerous prisoners around here, okay? And I really want them to do a prison update. Like, I know they have prison doors and stuff. By the end of the day, that is literally all we have. The wall trims in here are going to be a very different story. It's very different. It's literally going to be brick. Like, when you walk in here, you've got to think, oh, damn, things getting serious now, honey. Modern counters sort of fit the bill perfectly in here. And I'm not even going to color the top. It's got to be plain as day. I suppose we can add some waiting bits in here. I'm just basing this off GTA. I don't know if you guys will know that game, but in GTA, they basically have like vending machines in the police station. Because I suppose you'd always have a right to food and drinks. And then this is where the police officers are going to sit and check you in. So we'll have a couple with monitors. We will have one with like this old TV. And this is basically going to be security cameras that they need to watch. And not only that, we're going to have like a little TV on the wall for the waiting people to watch as well. I love these lights. I'm sorry. They look like cute little buttons. Anyway, I did just want to get that done quickly so we can move on to bigger better things for example the interrogation room <gasps> oh my gosh i'm so excited sorry that sounds like i was really scared then <gasps> oh my god so this is gonna have the simplest of tables do you know what table it's gonna have the simplicity table of course we've got to add one of those desk lamps like this is just too iconic and it's got to be facing over to them and then we've obviously got to have the interrogation lamp as well I don't know if in real life they actually have this or if it's just from the film but i'm adding it in here because i think it's such a fun detail and do you know what? I'm actually going to add a mirror at the back. Not because the policeman's going to be like checking himself out. Like 
but because sometimes these rooms have two-way mirrors. Two-way mirrors is basically a mirror that looks normal from this side, but somebody can actually peek through on this side, so this would be their view. And sometimes police stations have that, so more officers can look in. And actually, I should be getting some backup guards in here. For example, my Nutcracker men guard. And I suppose we could probably have two interrogations going on at once in here. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely perfect. And I'm just going to leave it as that. And this here is literally a hallway. And here is where we really need to get secure. This is the final downstairs room. This is where, like, you potentially bring in a murderous criminal. And imagine it's just all this security for somebody who, like, stole a lollipop or something. They're like, I'm sorry, I was hungry. Hungry. So if any of you have watched any sort of crime documentaries, you will be fully aware of what really happens when you get checked in. So first thing you see is a New Year's poster. No, I'm joking. The first thing that really happens is you get your mugshot taken. Oh yeah, babes, that is perfect. And I reckon we should actually add some like short fences. So you're sort of guided around this way. And this is where you're going to have your fingerprints stolen from you. So technically when you touch makeup, you leave fingerprints in it. So this is going to be our makeshift fingerprint things. And after you've had your fingerprints done, I'm going to put a bunch of chests of drawers. Wrong section. I'm going to put a bunch of dresses and that's because this is where you're going to have to hand in all your possessions. You know that scene in a movie where they get arrested and they have to put like their watch here, their glasses. It's that funny scene. I'm going to add a bunch of coat racks and that's because this is going to be where the orange overalls are that you have to switch into. Although I don't know if you do this straight away because that's a bit unfair if you're not even guilty yet. And just to be safe, this little part here is just going to be a holding cell. So if a some reason you decide to like not cooperate at this early stage. I don't want no remake on my burger. I want my money back. And why is these fries? These fries is cold. Then you're going downtown. And that is the entry room done, which means the whole downstairs is done. We really don't have much left at all. So I'm going to start off with the jail cells because once we've done one of these, it's sort of a copy and paste mission. So first things first, gotta paint all the walls very blue. Like I said, it's going to be a copy and paste mission. So we'll start with cell number one. I feel like it's a bit mean to make the walls gravel. Like, <laughs> They're not living in a cave, even though you're locked up in this tiny cell, which is smaller than my Bloxburg closet. So there is an issue of prison overcrowding in real life. Don't know if you guys know that. We're actually going to have to add bunk beds. So there's two inmates per room, if that makes sense. I'm giving them a nice pillow. There's nothing worse than this oval pillow. It needs to actually be abolished from Bloxburg. Next up, we're going to add a dresser. Obviously, not of all their possessions on. If they have keys, they could try poke someone. Glasses, they could try pick the lock. You've got to be very careful. And this is a bit of a risk, guys. But I'm going to add a table lamp. Hopefully they don't smash it over somebody's head. Next up, we're grabbing this plain half fence. And this is kind of going to be like our little toilet area. Because they don't have separate toilets. They literally just have a wall. And some prisons are mean enough that they don't even give them a wall. And then finally, they might get a desk or something to work on. And by the way, I'm literally British. I don't know why I've made this an American jail. But with the first one done... We're about to move on to solitary confinement. And also, this here is just a storage room. Didn't really know what to put in there. Solitary confinement is actually the scariest place ever. Not that I've been in there, but you know when you see it on the films, or Mr. Beast did that video, where all the walls are literally white squares. You don't get a single window, so the door is actually going to have to be one of those flushed doors. And all that we're going to put in here, it actually has to be kind of small, because this room is actually tiny. But it's literally going to be a bed, and this bed is actually the perfect colour. A tiny bathroom at the end, and that is literally it. That is is the bedroom. And solitary confinement you get sent to if you're crazy. And this room here is going to be basically where the police officers reside and chill out. So with all those jail cells done, and I actually did this corridor off camera, all we have left is the visitor's room. Oh my gosh! So firstly, we're going to need to divide into two sides and have like a little door here. And this is going to be kind of a room to like escape the worries of prison. Do you know what? I would add the drive through windows, but you're not actually meant to be able to open these. So instead, just going to have to have these squares. Oh my gosh. And under each one, we'll just add a plain desk. And this is reminding me, I'm telling you, like I said earlier, of like 2017 Bloxburg, where you build a police station and just arrest everyone on the server. And I'm adding the phones, like I said, like you're in one of those Lifetime movies where like the sad daughter goes visits her dad in prison. And we're gonna add windows along the back here so the prisoner can kind of get a sneak of the real world. <laughs> And that visitation room concludes True Reese's police station. Oh my gosh! Making my way downtown, walking for- Oh, hello? 
Hello? Officer Reese is on the radio. You need me back at the station. Nino. And here we are. Yes, chickens. We are outside of the police station, which, if you're curious, this value's at $764,000. And I really think we need to give the front the time of day it deserves. Like, this actually looks beautiful because everything inside really just enhances it further. And I still can't get over these lovely, like, disabled patches on the floor. They look so good. But the real treasure lies inside. First of all, at our police station, we have the reception. This is where you'd come if you want to report a crime or if you're, like, a less dangerous prisoner who's just brought in to the front. I'm obviously the chief of police. So I probably wouldn't be sat here. I'd have one of my workers sat here. Why does this actually feel like I'm in like a creepy horror film? Ooh. And if you are ready to be taken into questioning, you'll go into the interrogation room straight away. This is quite like an interesting looking room. I love the idea of the mirrors and the police just sat here like, tell me everything you know. I'll get it out of you one way or another. And I've always wondered, how do interrogation rooms actually work? Do you really think shining a light in someone's face gonna make them tell the truth? However, most criminals would be coming in through this entryway. So they've probably been picked up from the area that the crime happened. The first thing that they need to do is stand in front of the green screen and I'll take a picture of them. Stand there. Next up, up, you go round in like a little circle. You have to take your fingerprint. Okay, let me take it. There we go. Using my fingerprint. Oh, no. no it's not makeup, guys. It's not makeup. Next of all, you have to place all your belongings here, but I've already made the prisoner do that. Look. And if they're getting violent, get in here. Get in here. Get in here now. Oh, you just knocked me over, sir. You've just nabbed me over. I'm charging you right here on the spot. And if that were the case, we'd have to go back through this corridor and into the courtroom. Now, courtrooms, I just think, are such an aesthetic, iconic room in the world. Do you know what I mean? As we walk in, we obviously have the courtroom benches. This is where the family would be summoned for that person who threw me to the ground. We'd have some people typing at the back, and then the jury would be sat all along here. And the judge. Now, in this case, I'm obviously the witness. Yes, I was hit by this angry woman. And this is the deliberation room, which personally was just an excuse to build a lot luxurious dining room. However, if you're not going to court straight away, you'll be taken up into this corridor and placed into a holding cell. So like I said, we do have plenty of cells down here and this is what the average one looks like. And when you're placed in here, you'll probably be panicking. Help me, let me out of this cell. I'm having a panic attack right now. I need to calm down because I'm having a panic attack right now. But no, you'll just have to sleep on it until you're waken up by probably someone smashing on the door or something. If you've been really naughty, you're sent to solitary confinement. And this is actually terrifying. Imagine being stuck in here. I literally have to leave. And finally, in this little room, we have the police quarters. This was just like a little bit of extra fun. And finally, if you've been a good prisoner, you will be taken into the visitation room. And I put it right opposite the cells for easy access. You'd sit here. Hello, daughter. It's been a long time. And then over on this side is where the daughter would actually be. Hi, dad. I wasn't going to come, but I have too much to tell you. Don't, don't. Duh! So there we have it, chickens. That was me building a prison in Bloxburg. I hope all of you guys liked watching this. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. I'll see you all next time.